Hello, my name is Melissa Daniels and I have strabismus. And strabismus is when your eyes are not pointing in the same direction and your brain does not use your eyes together. And this channel is all about solutions to that problem. And one of my favorite solutions is using virtual reality. And there's an app I've been using for years called Equal Eyes that is so amazing. It was developed by somebody with strabismus and that person, Mark, has done so many amazing upgrades to the program and I wanted to highlight the new features, what's now available. I just, it was time for an update. So if you want to go to the actual website, you can get the link in the description. And my code is MDVR. That's going to give you a 10% off. If you want lots of details, stay tuned. Before we jump into that, be sure to go over to learn.strabismussolutions.com or scan this QR code. And there you can Schedule a call with me over Zoom. You can get one of my courses, PDF exercises, and so much more. All right, let's talk about Equal Eyes. Equal Eyes is an app designed for the Oculus Quest, and it is designed specifically for people who have an eye turn or double vision that is preventing them from getting fusion, and it is designed to help people get fusion. Now, the man who created this app, his name is Mark, he's from Australia, and he had what we call a torsional strabismus, where one eye, it wasn't just a horizontal or vertical, it was a combination, and that is really difficult to fix um, without surgery, and he designed this app so that he could make adjustments. If you'll notice inside the inside of the headset, there's a little screen for each eyeball, Mark has created it so that you can make so many different adjustments within the different games that you're playing. And that is what makes Equalize so unique. It's definitely designed for somebody with strabismus who wants to play around with things, who wants to experiment, who wants to try adding a little prism, adjusting this, adding blur, adding contrast. There's so much you can do. And that is really, this is not an app where you just go in and push play, where it's just kind of like, you don't have to think about it, right? There's some apps that are like that every person is a little bit different and what they're going for is different. Some people are like, I just want to put on the headset and push play. Great. Go for it. There are apps for that. This app is more exploratory. Some of the adjustments that you can make, um, and this is just one of the major updates that he has done that I love so much. Um, originally, if you wanted to make any of those adjustments, you had to go back to the home screen do it and then those adjustments would apply to every single game that you're playing. You can still do that when you get to the home screen, you can go and you can make some like basic adjustments that are going to stand for every single game or activity that you're doing within the app. But now in addition to that, any time you're inside of the game, you can click the menu button. And so you click that button within any game, a menu is gonna pop up and you can make any adjustments. That's also how you exit out of the game. You have to pull up that menu and then hit B and then it exits out. Anyways, um, I love that because I'll be in the middle of the game and be like, man, I'm getting a lot of double vision. So I can pop up the menu. I can adjust and add a little bit of horizontal prism, add one or two diopters, then click the menu button, try the game again, see how it changes. Am I able to increase distance and then go back to one? Or sometimes I'm like, I'm doing really good on this. I'm going to make it a little bit harder. I'm going to add some like challenge, like add the prism to make it more difficult for me. So it's really fun. You can like change it right in the middle of your activities. I really like that. There's a lot of people who are just geeking out over vision and strabismus and vision therapy. This app, you, you have to have the app. It's just so fun. Other major updates that he's done recently, basically overhauled most of the games and activities, changed the backgrounds, made it more user friendly, more functional, prettier to look at all of those things. He's also made it more web-based and you can, if you are a clinic, you can actually manage a patient online. And so you can go find out what they're doing and you can see how often they're playing and, and what games they're playing, all those types of things, all that information can be available online as well as within the app, which is really nice. You can have more than one user. Um, there's just a lot of things that's just becoming more and more all-inclusive as far as that goes. Now, there are two different versions of the app. You've got the regular version and you've got the pro version. So the regular version is what was already there. It still is gonna include upgrades like the menu where you can adjust settings within every game. 
um, all the original games, just like the updates on making it work better. Like, yes, all of that is in the original and that's still $150. Uh, I think 10% off if you use my code, so like $135-ish, exactly, right? That's 10%. Anyways, um, so that's like the original version, and you just pay one time, and you have that forever on your Oculus. And I think the original option is great for long term. If you've already done the vision therapy, and you're just kind of wanting to manage or um, keep up with things, it's kind of nice because it's there's no subscription needed. You can access the games. There's enough to work with there. Um, you've got the Quoits, you've got the Brock String, the Ball Exerciser, just um, some of those original games that were already on there that are so good. Um, if you are just getting started, I would definitely recommend just jumping in with the pro version. It's only $50 more, it's $200. And while that is a subscription, that's $200 covers the entire first year. And you could always go back down to like the normal version after that. So with that, you get quite a bit more. There are five additional games. You've got a really fun one where you're driving a crane and you have to like load. Oh, what are they called? They're, they're like the huge things that our trains carry. Anyways, you're loading these onto the back of semi-trucks and you really have to like engage your depth perception to make that possible. There's a pegboard rotator. You maybe have seen these types of things in vision therapy offices, but it's a circle and it turns and it's got holes and you have to put these pegs into the holes and it's really great. There's so many, like you can change the direction and the speed and the intensity and it is so good. Um, for your vision. So I love that one. Another new one that's really great is the peripheral. It's similar to the pegboard where you've got like a circle with, but there's buttons and you're pushing them. So you're looking at the middle and then you're trying to push the buttons peripherally and one color for your left hand, one color for your right. You know how much I love peripheral vision. This was one of my personal requests. Thank you, Mark. So love that upgraded one. There's a pinball game. That's an anti-suppression one where each eye can see part of what's going on. I think only your weak eye can see the ball moving around. Love it. That's a great game for just getting both eyes engaged. You don't have to have perfect alignment on that one, so it's not going to like create any major problems, but it can kind of wake up that weaker eye. And then um, another big one with Pro is just like that clinic management, that side of like being able to manage everything online. That's all going to be included in the Pro version. Um, I don't necessarily, I don't use that part, but I'm sure there's lots of offices that would want to. If you're just an individual, that that probably wouldn't be the like the big one for you. Another thing is that we are going to be doing some live Zoom calls where we all get together. I'm going to be leading those calls and talking about, you know, just discussing how we're using the app, how to use it more effectively. So that's really fun to connect with other users, get ideas, um, just like the more you can bounce ideas off of people, keeps you excited, keeps you engaged. You can learn a lot. The other thing that comes with the pro version is just updates. When Mark comes out with a new game or new programming, different functionality, that will be added to the pro version. But the original, the one-time payment that you already have maybe, or you know, if you just paid that 150, that one isn't gonna change. Um, if there's like a functionality, like a little update that's like a bug fix, that will be included. But no new games are coming. All of the new stuff is gonna be in the pro version. So if you like what it is already, then great. It's already a fantastic app, but if you want that like updated, keeping up with things, pro version would probably be for you. Um, I have to say that my favorite parts of Equal Eyes have to still be the Quate and the Brock String put together. Those two give me so much feedback about what my eyes are doing and my depth perception, and it is like profound. I also love the peripheral games, whether it's the cicades and you're trying to click the arrow or click what direction the arrows are going or the peripheral buttons there's a lot that you can do in virtual reality with peripheral and mark has done a really good job of gamifying that and making it um putting it in a setting where you can kind of play around with those adjustments so if you have any more questions about equal eyes there is a facebook group where we all congregate and talk about the program and i will put that link in the description there are so many different programs. You just have to pick the right one for you. Um, Equal Eyes is a great option. I feel like anybody with an Oculus should at least get the one-time payment version because it's got so many amazing tools that are gonna help if you have been working on your vision with Strabismus. 
I'm also going to link some of the other videos I've done about Equal Eyes um, with a little bit more details about what the games are. Again, if you have questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments and we will see you in the next video.